Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tony Setia Budi. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. Today, I want to talk about a dangerous condition called rhabdomyolysis after a spin class. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please help me to subscribe and activate the notification button. I will share more medical information that is accurate, up to date, and trustworthy. A young lady almost lost her leg after developing rhabdomyolysis following a spin class. And she is not the only one. And there are many people like her developing this condition after spinning. Jenny, not a real name, complained of severe pain and swelling to the right thigh and had to undergo an emergency surgery to cut open her thigh to relieve the pressure inside. The experience was just traumatic and stressful for her. Rhabdomyolysis is a potentially life-threatening syndrome that happens after damaged muscle starts to break down, releasing protein called myoglobin into the bloodstream. The kidneys are responsible for removing myoglobin from the blood, so urine can flush it out of the body. In large quantities, Myoglobin can damage the kidneys. Some people can develop acute kidney failure and requiring dialysis. Intense exercise can trigger rhabdomyolysis. Spinning in particular can pose risks to newcomers as they are eager and excited to make full use of the time. The 45-minute spin class Jenny took was her first that led to this ordeal. So if you are going to your first spin class, take it easy. You may not know that you are pushing yourself too hard and overworking your muscles until you face problems like Jenny. As soon as she stepped off the bike, the knees just gave way. She fell on the floor. She thought that was strange at first, but then it may be just tired and weak muscles this is the start of rhabdomyolysis. The next day, her legs started to swell and felt tense. The soreness turned into pain. The pain was so intense, it really felt like the legs had been hit by a truck. The intense pain may not start immediately or on the next day. It may take a few days. She had trouble walking. She was grabbing walls and furniture. Her urine turned bloody and she was concerned. Jenny decided to see her doctor. The level of creatine kinase or CK in her blood shot up to the roof. CK is an enzyme that is released with muscle damage. She was admitted to a hospital and immediately put on intravenous fluid to flush out the muscle proteins. Jenny developed acute compartment syndrome in her right thigh. The pressure within the muscle compartment increased to dangerous levels, decreasing the blood flow. Acute compartment syndrome is another serious and life-threatening condition that can happen with muscle damage. She underwent an emergency surgical procedure called fasciotomy on her right thigh. This is a surgery to cut open the fascia that covers the muscle compartment to relieve the pressure. Without the surgery, the patient can lose the leg and even die from overwhelming toxicity. She made a slow and steady recovery with appropriate treatment. I don't want to discourage people from staying active. It is important to exercise regularly, but a short burst of high-intensity exercises can lead to serious problems. So be kind to your body. How do you differentiate a normal muscle ache from rhabdomyolysis? It may not be easy to differentiate. Muscle pain from rhabdomyolysis is usually very intense to the point that people are struggling to walk. The urine changes to darker color. 
When you see this, you need to see a doctor or go to hospital emergency immediately. The urine become dark not because of blood, but because the body is trying to excrete myoglobin, which is the byproduct of dying muscle tissue. This is one of the clearest symptoms of rhabdomyolysis. How is rhabdomyolysis treated? The treatment is hydration with intravenous drip to get rid of toxin and help prevent potentially harmful proteins from causing damage to the kidney. This condition needs to be monitored closely with daily blood tests. What are the warnings for first timers of spin class? Spin class is very trendy, fun, and enjoyable. But the members, and especially the newcomers, need to be aware of the potential risk, especially rhabdomyolysis. Spin class has an atmosphere that makes it all too easy to keep pedaling on the exercise bike and to keep up with the pace of the class. It is easy to get carried away with high-intensity workout kind of music. Definitely, the risk of rhabdomyolysis is something that people should know about before they start spinning. What are the warning signs? Number one, dark red colored urine and decreased urine output. Number two, extreme muscle soreness. Number three, fatigue, nausea and vomiting. Number four, weakness of the affected muscles. And number five, muscle swelling and tenderness. Spinning is a great exercise, but it involves using some of the largest muscles in the body, the quadriceps and the gluteus maximus, at an intense rate. If exercise is too intense, the muscles may not get enough oxygen and start to swell and break down. People should be aware that they need to take it slow or take it easy in the beginning. It is important to drink enough water before, during, and after the intense exercise. I hope this information is useful to all of you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.